Buenos dias, amishiras. Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, we are getting ready to go take the boys on a walk. Why does it look so dark? There we go, that looks a little better. We're gonna stop by and get a cafecito. The house is a mess, but you know what? That doesn't matter because I'm going on a jog. I just did my yoga um, once I get back. You know what, it's not even that it's a mess. I'll show you guys when I get back, but I just have some unboxing things that I need to put away. And yeah, so let's go. We just got back and I'm about to get in the shower. Finally start my day. So I am starting it a little later. I wanted to get up at seven. I didn't because I didn't have a good night's sleep, but it's okay. We're like an hour, maybe two behind schedule, but it's fine. So I'm about to get a shower. Today is also hair wash day. I think those are the kind of things that whenever you're maybe not on schedule or things don't work out the way they do, still do things that you love and that are good for your mental health. Like for me, going out for walks or jogs, it's something that I have that I really wanna implement into my life, so I wanna prioritize that before I get into work, even if I am two hours behind schedule. Everything is gonna be fine. Everything is still gonna get done. It's just, it's not gonna get done when I initially thought it would, which is totally fine. I have the Reminders app on my phone. Let me show you guys. I just started using it. I did it last night, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I was able to schedule everything, so it's like I put yoga at eight in the morning, and then um, going for my jog, and then shower hour and then get into work but obviously I got delayed because I woke up a little later so we're gonna shower we are going to wash our hair but I'm also going to be dry brushing and I like to do this before I get into the shower this one is from goop I will link it for you guys but what I like to do is well dry dry brushing is good to obviously exfoliate and unclog your pores we have pores throughout our whole body but it also helps with circulation and it helps with cellulite too so what you want to do is you want to start like at your hands in like circular motions and just kind of start brushing it does hurt a little bit but nothing that nothing you can't handle they do recommend that you start at the hand and then like work your way towards the heart uh, same thing with your feet or with your legs you start at your feet and then you work your way up and then with your stomach you're supposed to kind of like go clockwise so I like to do this before I get in the shower and then once I get out of the shower, I like to lather on a, a body butter. So I'll show you guys which one I am using. I have lots of different like luxe body creams. That is just something that I love to do. It, I think it's like also one of those like self-care things that I like to do for myself because I like to smell good and then it's just like rubbing the lotion on your body just feels really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna dry brush, get in the shower. Today's hair wash day so I will be washing my hair and then... I'll show you guys what body butters I use. Okay, we are out of the shower. That felt so good. Um, I'm gonna hydrate my lips. This is something that I always love to do in the mornings. Whenever I really I feel that my lips feel dry. This one's from Fresh, their Sugar Advanced Therapy. I use so many different ones. I just keep them always handy, whether it's like here in my makeup, my little makeup setup, in my bags, wherever, because I cannot stand my lips not being hydrated. But I wanna show you guys the body butters that I like to put on my body. So I have other ones, but I wanted to show you guys these two. So these are like, one is pretty luxe and expensive, and this one's a little bit more affordable. So this one's from The Body Shop. This is their body butter in olive. This one is for very dry skin, and I'm almost halfway done with it. I love the way that this smells. It is very thick, it is very moisturizing, and I love this. It's just like a little treat for my body. This one is obviously much more affordable than this one. This one is the Delina Body Cream. Now, you guys have heard me rave about my Delina perfume. It's one of my favorite perfumes. It is a little bit on the pricier side. I think this little tub is $100, I know. So this was gifted to me, but I will still link these down below if you guys wanna treat yourself. This I only use on very special occasions. So if like I'm gonna go out to an event or when I'm gonna go to dinner, that's when I use this. On my day to day, I use like the Body Shop. Body butter, body butter. I feel like that's like such a tongue twister. Body butter, or I use uh, like a, a vino. That's not so much a body butter. It's more just like a lotion. But on my day to day, I don't use this. This is just like on special occasions. So this is, as you guys can see, it is still pretty full because it's expensive, but it's so, oh my God, it smells so delicious. Like you guys, whenever you rub this on your body, you're just gonna be like, oh, I smell so good. And that just makes me happy. And the packaging is luxurious. So I will link these for you guys. But today, because we are just gonna be home working, I'm gonna be using the one from The Body Shop. And this one, like I said, is an olive. I will link this as well. It smells so good. It's very nourishing, very, like I said, it's, it's a body butter. So it's like nice and thick. Anyway, I think you guys can see that. And I just like to, at this point, I was like, obviously I'm not 
vlogging on my day to day, but this is where I just kind of like rub it on my body and you know, just, it feels nice to, to take this as like a little treat and not just you applying lotion. Look at how this is like very thick. It's like a very, very thick lotion. It's for very dry skin. Uh, they also have some that are not, like if you don't have very dry skin, you can just use their, their normal skin one. But I have dry skin, which is why I also love doing the dry brushing because I feel like that helps. I shave every like every other day. I don't like hair on my legs. I wish I could do laser, but I'm too much of a baby. I will apply this all over my body right now, but I just wanted to show you guys. And like I said, I will link it for you guys in case you guys want to get them, but I totally recommend you guys have. You don't have to splurge, you know, $100 on body lotion, a body cream. I know that's a lot, but if you want to put it like on your list for your birthday, for an anniversary, for a gift, I think that would be such a good one to get your hands on. But just on your day to day, I think it's so nice to, instead of just putting like a lotion, like a body butter, something about it just feels more luxe and it feels more nourishing and it's just more hydrating and it feels more like a like a treat rather than just you applying lotion. I don't know, but this is the one that I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna finish applying it all over. So I'm making lunch. I'm still in my robe, so we are definitely off schedule today, but it is okay. Wow, these limes. Oh, well. I got you. It like has no juice. I'm making tuna. I'll show you guys what I put in it. So this is our little bowl. There's tuna, vegan sour cream. I use the Kite Hill one. This one here. Am I blurry? I can't even tell. A celery, pepper. A little pinch of salt not too much because i use jalapeno and then the juice of the jalapeno so that kind of gives it um, it has salt already so we're just gonna mix all of this deliciousness and this is just i have not gone to the grocery store the one went, went this morning but he only got like essentials that we needed for our breakfast some tomatoes and onion but we don't have like really anything so i'm just making this really quick for lunch voila and I'm just gonna make tostadas. I'm gonna finish cutting up this little celery here. I like to cut the celery really small, just like for a little crunch, but I don't want it to like overpower because you know, celery could be very strong. So I just do a little, like I mince it kind of. Oh, I also switched my robe because I was wearing my parachute robe. And I was like, I'm not about to get that dirty. That is my fancy robe. I'll put a little bit more. I just brought a pineapple. He's gonna make my jam. Good morning, Miss Chulas. I am eating my overnight oats. I made them last night. So easy to make. A little bit of oats. I get the one from Trader Joe's. And I add a little bit of chia seeds, some vanilla extract. What else do I add? Oat milk. No, almond milk. And I think that's it. And then I just let it sit in the fridge. I'm like really cute right now. Overnight. And then I add a little bit of almond butter this morning with a little bit of coconut sugar but it didn't do anything to it which is fine i'm also having a little bit of cafecito so today i actually have an event you guys are probably wondering like chula where are you i moved my desk to the other side because i have windows on this side of the room and so i wanted to film today and so everyone moved the desk for me i love it here but when you walk into the room it just looks too like cluttered so i'm it's gonna go back to that wall this is where i normally where it's normally at so it's gonna go back to that wall but i wish i could leave it here because the lighting like in front of the windows is just spectacular but i'm gonna i'm gonna leave here and i'm gonna leave here in two hours actually 11 12 one in three hours so i have three hours to get ready i'm giving myself enough time i woke up pretty early i woke, I woke up at like 8 30 9 and then i laid in bed and i was editing some stuff and then i got up i started 
moving things around, kind of picking up. I had a, literally probably like 20 pairs of shoes next to my bed. By the way, if my hair looks oily, it is because I put a pomade in it yesterday because I did a little slick bun and I'm doing the same thing today. It is like my way of extending my dirty hair a little bit longer. So I'm gonna wash it today. I don't have time to wash it before the event. So I'm just gonna do like a little slick bun. It is my go-to. It's super easy. I feel like when I do my slick bun or like my slick pony, I look, I look put together. I look like I have my shit together. <laughs> May not be like that, but at least I look like that. So I'm gonna do that today again. I have a cute outfit to wear. I'll show it to you guys. I was actually up trying out a bunch of outfits. So I have this striped top that I think I'm gonna wear. Actually, I know I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear that with like a cute little bralette that I got at Urban Outfitters and some pretty little thing. I don't like creamy white jeans. They're super cute. I'll try to find them and link it. I'll, I'll try to link everything except the striped top because that's from Allery and that is long gone but the little bralette and the pants i'll try to find that link for you guys so yeah i'm just gonna finish having my oatmeal i'm gonna get in the shower and get this day started all right let's apply our skincare so i've been using some new skincare products and i thought i would share them with you so this is the ren skincare ready steady glow daily tonic so i'm gonna apply a little bit of this before i start anything else whoa and i actually went on a trip with ren i didn't vlog that trip we went to palm springs it was so nice and i got to learn about their products and honestly ever since the trip i have been using a ton of their products i love the way it leaves my skin so i'm just gonna rub this little toner all over my face so toners help exfoliate they help with texture on the skin and it's a perfect way to start a really glowy base and then i'm gonna go in with their eye cream this is like a very thick luxe eye cream so if you have really dry under eyes and you're always like why does my concealer crease why does this happen it is probably because your under eyes are not hydrated enough so you want to get a really nice thick under eye cream this one i love fresh sugar advanced therapy and then i'm gonna go in with my ula henriksen uh strength trainer strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer that's probably ups or amazon and i'm gonna take some of this and just really hydrate the skin oh this feels so good oh i forgot to go in with a serum but it's okay so i'm just going to work this into the skin and you want to take your time with skincare products i always feel like you have to treat your skincare like something so luxe because you're literally just taking care of the skin prepping it for makeup i don't know put some music light some candles and don't forget about the neck okay do not forget about the neck because when you start aging they say you can tell a person's age based on their neck and their hands because obviously you can't get like botox and filler on those parts so make sure you always take care of your neck and this just like seeps into the skin i love this moisturizer it is also very 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 hydrating so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then i'm gonna go in with the ren um this is their barrier support elixir so this is an oil but it's very like f it absorbs nicely into the skin it doesn't just sit on top of the skin there's some oil where you apply it and you're like whoa what is this this doesn't and i like to let like my skincare products i like to give them enough time so that they absorb into the skin before i go into my next one so i'll just kind of let this sit there do something else read a book i don't know drink some coffee we i already applied the oil and i did my hair i did a quick little slick bun you guys know that is my jam i'm gonna go ahead and apply my super goop a glow screen you guys i've been this has been my go-to sunscreen and i love it it has a little tint i've talked about it multiple times it is spf 40 do not leave your house without your sunscreen even if you do nothing else just apply sunscreen you guys have no idea that's probably like the most important step in your skincare routine is sunscreen and i actually need more than this this is not enough I need more. Give me more. Give me more. And what I love about this one is that it leaves your skin super glowy. So it's like it's already prepping it for makeup application. It's just such a good. There's there's a lot of good ones. This is one of my favorite. That, this one and the the Tula is a good one. First Aid Beauty has a tinted one as well. Tatcha has a good one, but theirs is not tinted. What I like about Tatcha's is that it is a pore minimizing sunscreen. So not only are you protecting your skin from the sun, but it also helps helps minimize your pores so it's like a little two-in-one but i wish it was tinted and i wish it was glowy i know not everybody likes glowy i also bring it down to my neck okay don't forget about the neck like i said and i just press it into the skin and skin is glowing into the gods okay i'm gonna start getting ready i will see you guys because i have to film not me using my robe to 
clean off the, the rest of my sunscreen. Um, I'm gonna start doing my foundation and everything because I have to be out of here in an hour and a half. Okay, let's get ready. She is ready. Okay, let me put my shoes on. Where are my shoes? I need to grab my bag. You know, I wish that, oh my God, I didn't even put perfume on. Oh, hello. Hold on. Let me grab my perfume. What perfume should we do today? I'm running so late. I haven't even had time to eat. Let's do replica. Let's not think about it. Let's do a good one that we love. Oh, so good. I got my phone, my rings. I need my rings because she's a married woman. <laughs> Where are my rings? What are my... Oh, they're in the kitchen because I was washing dishes. Okay, I'm going to finish grabbing my stuff. I'm running so late. Let me see how long it's going to take me to get there. Oh, actually, I'll just check in the car. We are in the car. We are gonna be late. Okay, let's see how long it's gonna take me to get there. 14 miles, okay, 14 miles. Come on, universe, be on my side. Ingyasu, 47 minutes. Fuck, I'm gonna be late, late. No, no, se pasan. All right, Mishudas, I will see you guys. Okay, first of all, I need to open my gate. I will see you guys once I'm there or once I'm back. I don't know. I feel very, very stressed. Didn't I say I was going to start getting to places early this year? Oh, my gosh. Good morning. Buenos dias, Mishudas. I always have to adjust my seat because, you know, everyone is taller than me. I am on my way to the dentist today. So, if you guys have been following me for a while... You guys know that I got braces a few years ago and I ended up losing my retainer and then I found it like a year later but by then my teeth had already shifted and honestly I was I dropped the ball with the retainer like I wish once you get braces that's it like you don't have to do anything the teeth stay like that but unfortunately teeth have memory so they like to go they like to shift back to where how they originally were so my my front my top teeth are fine like they're pretty straight. They're still they're not straight because they're not straight, but they they look straight. The bottom ones though are the ones that you can tell like my like my teeth are not like straight like this. They kind of go like that because these teeth have shifted. So today we are going to the doctor to the doctors. Today we're going to the dentist. I actually went a few weeks ago to get my cleaning. And so today we're gonna go get our Invisalign. So we'll see how this how this goes. They're supposed to do my um the molds for the trays uh, the good thing is that now they do the molds like uh digitally so you don't have to bite into that nasty gushy like slimy thing that literally would make me gag every time i had to do it for the braces so i'm just excited i'm excited for my teeth to get straight again i'm excited yeah i'm just excited for that so <laughs> you guys are coming along with me i did make myself a little coffee mcdonald's sent me this is arela chula mac cafe i love it um, so we're gonna go get or we're gonna go to our appointment and then I don't know what I'm gonna do after I might run to Target because there's this clutch I want to get I haven't done a Target run in a while so we might do that today and then come home do some TikToks get ready because today is my sister's birthday and then yesterday was my dad's birthday so I'm taking them both out to dinner today I already bought them their gifts I got my sister the replica by the fireplace perfume and a Lalabo hand cream and then I got my dad two pairs of shoes. I do want to go back. I don't think I'm going to have time to go to the mall today, though. Uh, I wanted to get him some shirts. I literally walked into Banana Republic, and I'm like, my dad has every single shirt that's in here. Like, what am I supposed to get him? <laughs> he has a very, like, uh, just, like, button-up collar type of shirt with, like, pinstripes or checkered or solids. But I feel like he has every single color you can think of. I'm like, what else? He doesn't like wearing short sleeves, so I'm like, what else am I supposed to give you, dad? So I bought him two shoe, two pairs of shoes, like the, they're like sneakers that he can like dress down, but also kind of dress up. And then I got him these other shoes um, that are kind of like a loafer style that are a little bit dressier. So I just don't know where else to go. Maybe I'll go to, does J. Crew carry men's or is it just women's? I just don't know. Cause I, I, I walked into Banana Republic and Dennis and I were together. And I'm like, what about this one? He's like, he has that. What about this one? He has that. And I'm like, I called my sister, my sister. Does my dad have these? Like, he literally has every single color. And I'm like, oh my god. So anyway, let's go to the dentist. And let's get this party started. I am excited to have straight teeth again. Oh, shit. 
photo bomb it? <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> oh, a video. Oh my god, that's more embarrassing. <laughs> we just did the impressions, and those are my crooked teeth. <laughs> and that's how they're gonna get the trays, which is crazy. So the left is my lower jaw, and then the right is my upper jaw. That is wild. Back in the car, that was easy and painless. Well, it was painless in the sense of what they had to do. It was painful when I had to pay. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. But you know what? We live and we learn. The girl that uh, helped me at the, the um, receptionist, I told her, I said, I can't believe after having braces and paying what I paid for braces, here I am paying again. She's like, oh, she's like, I got braces twice. It happened to me too. My cousin did it twice. Um, I know so many people that it's happened to them multiple multiple times um, And I even asked my dentist if it's possible to get like permanent retainers afterwards And he says it is but he doesn't recommend it because it's not um, Good for your gums because you can't floss and food will get trapped there and then the moment he said that I literally got grossed out I said okay, no, absolutely not. That just sounds so gross um, I'm pretty sure there's ways to keep it like clean by like probably rinsing after every time you eat but that I don't know why like that those things like really like gross me out um like mouths with I don't, I don't know anyway um it was easy and I love my dentist Dennis and I have been coming here for like I want to say like six years maybe if not longer they're so maybe maybe like five years actually um they're so sweet it's family owned super clean facility really nice um everybody on like they have, they have like different like the main i think it's like the main two doctors which is the father and son and then like the other dentist um but everybody's so nice i love going in there it's just like good energy every time i go in and they have like a little like a really nice fish tank you guys saw at the entrance everything is clean i don't know i feel like doctor's offices and like places where people are going to be like working on just you in general needs to look very nice and clean you know what i mean so anyway um it's the dental office of encino if you guys are looking for a good dentist i recommend them like i said we've been coming here for years and i love it so i'm gonna drink my coffee i'm i'm gonna go to target because i told you guys i need a little quick target run i wonder if karen would want to go do a little target run oh 11 11 makes me happy oh actually you know what i was trying to call joey's because i'm trying to make reservations for tonight for my dad and my sister. Thank you for calling Joey Manhattan Beach. We're a party of eight, and I guess that's considered a large party. But it says they'll get back to me in 24 hours, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to go tonight. So how do we, how do we do this? We'll see what they tell me. Back in the car, I got my little quench uh, protein shake. It's actually really good pretty thick but it has peanut butter protein honey strawberry banana and i think that's it and it tastes really good oh and almond milk i've been sitting in the car for a little bit so it's kind of like melting down so it's not as thick it's actually perfect consistency now so we are gonna go to target i'm excited because i haven't done a little target run in a while there's something i'm looking for hopefully i find it is a clutch um so let's go and see but you guys know target you walk in there with with one thing in mind and you come out with a cart full of stuff so Let's see where this target journey takes us. Why am I like this? I've been here for like five minutes and I've already, I already have a cart full of shit. <laughs> Why am I like this? This section, I swear. Hearth and hand, it always gets me. Like, always. since I vlogged last that I was at Target. I still have to show you guys what I got, but we are now in Manhattan Beach because we're, we, I told you guys we're having dinner for my dad and my sister's birthday. So we came to Mercado um, so that we can have dinner. I've been to this Mercado before and fun fact, I used to work at the corner bakery. 
Is it still here? Otis? It's still here. It's here? Or is it called? It's yeah, it's right there. No, I'm saying the corner bakery is still there. Oh. That I used to work at. Um, but they've done so many things to this, like, shopping center. It's super cute. Let me show you guys. It's super... I feel like it looks kind of like if we're in Miami. It gives me Miami vibes. Like the shopping centers. But there's a Mercado, there's a Joey's, there's a bunch of different restaurants. Yeah. And they're opening a Boa, Sushi Roku. So, it's really nice. And we just realized they opened a top golf we knew they were opening it but we, we didn't know it was gonna like already be open but yeah anyway we just got here dinner time <laughs>